What's up, Nanner? Today's an X-Files day. Today I'm going to be reacting to Season 1, Episode 11, Eve. Starting off at the very beginning, yes, there was definitely a creep factor. The jugular was on the wrong side of his neck. The jugular is not on this side of your neck. It's on this side of your neck. Let's get it together, people. Oh, I get it. Those little girls... They're very, very clever little girls. It was a really, really good idea. I got to take my hat off to this one. It seems like something I'd come up with. A mystery that keeps you guessing one after the other. It's two murders at the exact same time. Identical M.O.s on opposite sides of the United States. So it's impossible. One, met each other. Two, for one person to have done it. And three... Ugh, I'm really, really tired. Jeez, why? Two identical people connecting them to murders. And you sit there and you think... Okay. Um... No, I, I, I don't know. But then you have the two clones. The little two little girls are clones. So, are they psychotic? Why... Did one of the Eves make it out as a normal person, able to function in society, as while the others were unable to do so? It just makes you scratch your head, wondering how how is all of this possible, and all of these phenomena are going on, and you're like, is it aliens? The truth starts to come out a little bit at a time, that these little girls are homicidal, and they killed their fathers in cold blood in the exact same fashion. At the exact same time, too, without contacting one another. It all seems a little bit handy. That's a fault on the writing's part, but other than that, I liked this episode. Another thing was Mulder had hunches, but he wasn't right, you know? He, and in the end, at the very end of the episode, he, he almost died, and it was only by chance that he was able to survive uh, his encounter with these girls. The writing wasn't very good, I'd have to say. I mean, it was a very, very good idea, but it wasn't as executed as well as I thought it could have been. It could have been more subtle, like, oh, this is really sweet, and there's a lot of repetition in it, and it's just sort of pounding a few points. It seems like that's the only thing that this writer knows. Just have this really good idea, and just keep pounding the points of the idea over and over in the dialogue. There's no real... Uh, character to it, you know? There's no professionalism to it. There's no uh, sitting around thinking and plotting and stuff. It's just bam, bam, bam. It's The series is way too quick. The twist at the end as well, and that that's, that's awesome. I like the awesome twist at the end. You really wouldn't know what would happen, you know, after that. Where'd all the atoms go? Did they kill each other? Did they all... I don't know. What, what happened to them? Maybe later we'll learn about them, and that would get, be a good spin-off of this thing. Why did the girls kill their dads? Well, you don't just kill people because you feel like it. You have to have, like, a reason. And why have they waited so long to kill a person? Yeah, this idea was really good. It was, al it was almost too good. Like, the girls almost killed Mulder, and they almost got away with it. They fooled him all the way to the end, and the only reason that he lived was because he forgot his keys in the restaurant. Otherwise he would have died, and end of story, and girls would have won and gotten away. Yep. Pretty awesome. So interesting. Such a good story. I was disappointed by how it was written, and how unoriginal it was. It seemed a little amateurish. It felt like something I would write, and I'm not a very good writer. I'm not a very accomplished writer. I have some good ideas, and I can put them in, but they're not professional and it shows in my writing and it shows in this too and that's all i had to say for today nanner if anyone else is watching this you can see nathaniel's reaction in the description down below i'll see you later the truth is out there bye